Oh shit, my mic hasn't been muted. Mm-hmm. I haven't been gaffing to myself, have I? By the way, hi chat, I guess I guess we're starting now. <laughs> Oops. <clears throat> Oops, sorry. Yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> uh, hi everyone, how is we doing today? <clears throat> so, um, I'm playing a new game, came out on Thursday, I'm very excited, I have been a fan of the EDF series since like 2013, 2014-ish, so it's cool to be alive when, and interested in it while the new one's releasing. I mean, technically it came out like a year ago in Japan, where it took them a while to port it. But we are going to jump straight in, because there's a world that needs saving, and I am tired of waiting around. I did do the first two missions already, because I knew the first one was going to be a boring tutorial. Then I sort of got distracted to the second one, which was also kind of boring. There was like ten enemies you had to kill. But, how long is he? That's not the right one. I hope it's this one. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Look, there, there she is, there's me. They finally gave the wing diver a proper outfit again. And one of the rolling Skyrim with two boobies of power poses. Ah, uh, Skyrim boobers. Like I specifically changed the colours so it looks like a well, I specifically changed them to trans colours. You can't modify it that much, but so I just made it like the an exactly inversed flag on her helmet. And I I might have just said this like five seconds ago, but they this game they finally gave her proper clothes again. Because in the last game the wind diver was not wearing anything close to proper clothes. Okay, this way. Also, new thing in this game that wasn't in the last one. You now have, like, a secondary ability, like this. Bam! Shield. Uh, so, what is this? This is EDF6. But, quick catch up, this one is set five, I want to say, years after the previous EDF game. Um... You're part of the crew cleaning up the leftover alien invaders after you saved the world in the previous game. And I don't really know what's going to happen. I assume they come back in more force again. It would be kind of boring if it's just tiny little missions clearing things up like this. Except I am, of course, lying. I fully know that it involves time travel. What's well, an EDF? It's Earth Defense Force. You know, they're intergovernmental uh, military made to protect the Earth from alien invaders. Now I just gotta wait for the second wave to spawn in. Yeah, that's why we're starting off in a completely destroyed city because it's set five years after the world was completely destroyed in the previous game. Time travel, yeah. Um, God, who we killed at the end of the last game, um, somehow returns and uses time travel to go back so that he can try the invasion again. But because we were the one who killed him the first time, that means we get sent back with all our memories too, so that we can be stronger and keep fighting him off again. I, I think something like that. God, 
God, so can this game just be a little bit faster? Also, a lot of that is just speculation based on the Steam description of the story, which I'm not sure is entirely accurate, because the translations in these games are never fully accurate, and the story outlines are very vague. Look, they've started using makeshift armor, ones who are left behind. That is not the armor they had in the previous game. They must be making new stuff to try and survive here. They're building a house in Skyrim? Ah, oh, that's awesome. You know, I've never actually built a house in Skyrim. Oh, yeah, and you save I took seriously. As I always say, one day I'll do a proper Skyrim playthrough. Oh, I can't kill them. Do it every playthrough. <laughs> I wish I had. Okay, finally. Something. It's ant time. But yeah, I hope no one has uh, any fears of insects because there's giant insects in this game. I've got that. Yeah, it's changed the switch weapon button. I gotta get used to that. <laughs> Actually, hold on, I'm going to fix that. Uh, uh, it's do they home? It's pretty easy. Yeah, it, it's pretty easy. I just never get to a point where I remember to do it. That, that, that. Reload. Yeah. Now I know this looks like a psychotic control scheme, having left trigger to jump, but this is this has been the standard for these games since the nineties, so it's what I'm used to. Folkless property. Oh shit. shit. Okay, and now I'm dead. Wait, no, I'm not. I'm on easy. I'll be fine. Metallic ants? Uh, no, not yet. They'll come in later in the game. These are just uh, giant monsters. For some reason, uh, this version of the EBF story has gone down the route of never acknowledging that the giant insects look like insects. There's like aggressive alien species alpha is what we're fighting here, if we're going by the game's name for it. And they are just giant insects for all intents and purposes. They are biological, canonically, not machines. The textures are just strangely shiny. I don't care, I'm just gonna... Monsters, there are more of them. Yeah, hold on. I'm just stopping to do a little dance. Okay, let's go.
Oh, cut down it. Okay. Gotta get used to having hardly any power and like energy gauge. Where are the last ones? Up there? Gotcha. Ooh, that's not pleasant. Monsters are emerging from underground. Shit. They're coming out the roads. Don't back down. Oh my god. These are detailed collision meshes for some of these buildings. Wasn't expecting that. Ooh, it can slide through the collapsed car park. Wait, that little damage numbers down in the bottom right, that's new. I didn't notice that before. I like that, that's fun. Um, so I don't really have much commentary to do with this game, so chat, we're going to need to actually chat. I'm sorry, but how is everyone doing? Has anyone been up to anything interesting recently? Since whenever it was I last streamed. Yeah, so peaceful. Hell yeah, we did it. We did a mission. We're great at this. I better get a better weapon than that machine gun I've been using. You know, tour through some Cretan mountain birds. That's nice. Ooh, that sounds fun. Closed laser, that might be good. No, that's shit. Oh, actually, yeah, Mag Blaster. I think that's a weapon I like.
Yeah, we don't have much that I like right now. Oh, that's it, okay. There we go, that's just a grenade. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And we're on to mission four. Top priority extermination order. Put it up to normal difficulty. Easy is a bit easy for my liking. Gold ingot? Ooh. Fancy. Oh yeah, that's the weapon I thought. Okay, nice. It's not quite as good as I'm used to, but... I think I'll probably stick to the rapier for now. It's named after a sword, therefore I like it. Oh, actually, I've been playing Elden Ring again a lot in my off time. And I think I might finally beat it on this save. How does this grenade work then? Yeah. Oh, very well. Okay. That, wait, that's a huge range. What the heck? Never mind. It blows up mid arc. Also, it finally this one finally added an automatic vaulting system because getting over tiny little obstacles was incredibly annoying before. Now you can just whoop. Did I mute the music? No, I didn't. It's still there. I can definitely see it in my audio meters. You can't hear it? Don't know. That sounds like a you problem. Sometimes it just goes a bit quiet. Okay, this is where we have grenade. Wow. Oh good, my equipment doesn't... Oh shit, that's a... That's a teleportation anchor. Oh, they're already throwing those at us? Wow. Game, game, god damn it, game.
carved discs. Yes, indeed. Something like that. Oh shit, speaking of that, I still need to get back to my rewatch of Doctor Who. I very much got two episodes into the 13th Doctor and then got distracted because I wasn't ready to watch Rosa. land doesn't sell gold? I think maybe they should sell it for you anyway. Go on, just if you, sh if you shout at them they probably have some secretly that they're hiding from you. Killed him like a dozen times? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, let's finish this. Well, it'll probably be another way, but... Bam! Oh, there is something. There. Armor, very important. Oh, that's a lot! Good, they are not messing about with this one. Okay, throw grenades when they're actually bunched together. Use your equipment properly. Gwen, come on. Take this seriously. Like now. Bam. Bam. Don't blow yourself up. I said don't. And all the other soldiers are just off yapping in the distance, and I can barely hear them. Love having just grenades as an ability instead of a weapon I have to switch to. That is a great change. Sorry, I like I said, love this series. I like seeing the way it's growing and getting better over time. Definitely a new type of vehicle. Is that just like the top half of a mech mounted on a truck? Yeah, yeah that's just half a mech strapped to a truck. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Oh, 
a mother? They're already throwing the boss ant, the giant boss ant at us? No way. Oh my god, they are. Okay, finally. Finally, these games have gotten serious. Well, serious in scale. Not serious in uh, tone. Okay, I'm, I, I cannot die here. This is not where I die. Okay, done. Boom. Okay, the shaders on these pickups are really strange. Okay, I should pick everything up before the game ends. Because that will probably be the end of this wave, or end of this level. Okay, bro, shut up. I'm literally the one who saved the what? Wait, no, that's not you. Where's the guy who's been yapping? Also, yeah, you can absolutely commit war crimes against your fellow soldiers in this game, and it's great. Because no one gives a shit. Uh, light lightning bow, yes, that's a weapon I like. Bolt gun and grit shot? Never heard of those. Oh, and I have just sunk into the UI. There we go. Um. Okay, I think yeah, I think we'll take the lightning bolt. I'm familiar with that. There we go. Okay, cool. That's it. Let's next mission. This is just like half. Oh uh, yeah, pretty. In some ways, I guess. But does Half-Life have giant frog people? Do you literally kill God in Half-Life? Hmm? Okay, new. Uh, that's that's the side of a building game. Oh hey, eggs! Looks like it's time to break some eggs, crack some eggs. Yay! Uh, trans jokes time. There's not many ways you can remake that joke, but look. I'm, I'm cracking some eggs. Haha. <laughs> I am creatively bankrupt. 
And then kill them. Well, look! They were trying to kill me first. Okay, that is not as good as the other grenade. Don't like that. How are they stuck in the ground? Because that's how ants are egg ant eggs are laid. Maybe I don't know. They're they're giant. They're giant space insects that were made by frog people. So that when we kill them, they release um, gases into the air that allow the frog people's actual masters to breathe our atmosphere. Look, don't question it. It's like it's like a B movie in uh, game form is how you should think of it. Just enjoy it and don't don't question the logic too much and just enjoy it for the explosions and whatever's actually happening. Explosions in the beat. <laughs> no, A B movie, not the B movie. <laughs> Honestly, I think more films need to have a Michael Bay style remake. Just like completely innocent films, just remade with explosions and not a very well good well written script anyway this is a boring mission because all of the enemies are stuck in place a thousand and eighty five damage you can actually see how much health they have now I guess Roughly, it seems wildly different per egg, but you know, not every egg will crack easily. Hang on, is this any good? Oh, ah, uh, yes, because that's how fast those were moving when I threw them. Just blew me up, you frog bastard. Yours didn't didn't what, sorry, I forget how I just phrased that. It didn't what? Didn't crack easily? Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, mine did break easily. Like, someone said, a friend said, Hey, dead name, you might be trans. And I was like, Yeah, good point. I am. That's pretty much how it happened. Okay, can you stop killing me, please? I am the main character here. I do not get hurt. Oh, god damn. Okay, so the star mine does a lot of self damage.
can retreat so I can switch to the other grenade. I've been denied for like 10 years. I didn't even know what being trans was until like three or four years before I first realised that I was it. If I if I'd known about the existence of being trans, I would have figured it out like maybe 10, 12 years ago. No, wait, no, less than that. Hold on. Actually, yeah, about no, I don't know. Maybe like 2013, 2012 at the earliest I could have figured it out, I think, if I was given the language to describe it. First time to build up a good decade before you accepted it. I mean, I guess I did, in the grand scheme of things, realise I was trans pretty early, like in my middle teens, like 15, 16 I think I was. So I know, and I know that my first signs were like uh, dysphoria at a very young age, which obviously I didn't have language to describe until I was much older. My god, as soon as the signs were correlated with um, meanings for those signs. Uh, I was like, oh yeah, that's what that sign means. Cool, they really just go now and just fight God. Yeah, well, no. I, I am of the belief that that is not at all how it works because that's not my belief of theism, but this is not the stream to get into religion. To make it, yeah, no, I appreciate the joke, but like, I'm just bouncing off it with my own genuine opinions. I mean, I, I get the I get the comment you're making. It's definitely one that's shared a lot, but also, I think that we're better than the idea of having to create a fictional standard for ourselves to defy when it's very much just. Um, Societal standards are the only thing we're defying by being ourselves. Oh yeah, I got my one of my favourite weapons again. What am I doing? Life mimics art. Indeed it does. Where am I going? Oh, you're alive. You are very purple.
I am still reading the Bible, though. It's still very early in. I think I've just got... I've got to just before Sodom and Gomorrah. And, like, the Old Testament is really fascinating. Getting a giant insect invasion now. Well, hey, if there would have been one, it would have... I mean, sorry, I paused the game to yap about the game's lore, but... We were expecting the invasion in 2013, as per the first EDF duology, and then in 2017, as per the second duology, and then in 2022, as per the current duology. So, they, they keep moving back uh, when the apocalypse is going to happen. Oh wait, just like Christians. What's that? I think that's art mimicking art. <laughs> Because if these games are prophecy, they do keep changing how exactly it's going to unfold. I mean, given that EDF 5 and 6 do literally have God be some alien who crash landed on Earth thousands of years ago, and obviously it's it's... It's ancient astronaut theory in a very unserious way. Because it's like, yeah, what if God was just some alien that crash-landed here and people completely misinterpreted it as a divine being? And then the alien fucked back off again. Except the be the alien that crashed was uh, literally godly. Like, it was just straight up summoning balls of light to throw at you in the final boss battle. And it could just sort of float around and it had a big halo. It was also a very stressful and unbalanced final battle. Even on easy difficulty. Because it very rarely used its summoning ability, so you were just left with hardly any uh, healing pickups ever during the fight. And because God had the ability to blow up buildings, it meant you couldn't even use any cover on an already pretty desolate map, because it's it was the destroying it was the it was the destroyed city map that you fought him on because it's the end of the game and they always have to destroy the city by the at that point because you know B movie anyway now that I'm playing this I am absolutely going to end up getting back into my hey I should write a fanfic uh, assembling all versions of this game series into one timeline which would make absolutely no sense because there is zero like it, it wouldn't be possible because the stories just don't line up at all to overlap in the same universe. So that's why they made the uh, that's why they made the spin-off game EDF World Brother, which is like this uh, voxel-styled game that's just all of the different versions of the story mashed together in like a a, a, a multiversal collision thing and like. Even the characters in it make jokes about how the same enemies have been given different names across the games. God, I need to get back to playing that. What the hell is... Are they stuck inside the terrain? Oh no, it's an egg. I forgot my secondary weapon again. <laughs> yeah, because this arcs across all of them to get this done way quicker. Well, if you can get them to line up, that is.
Just a health pick up. Hang on, did that first grenade? No, okay, gotta throw two. Bam. If I don't throw it too far and completely miss. Anything. Ah, that's health. What's over here? Is it another health? It's another health. Okay. Gotta clear out more eggs. Interesting. That is a new weapon for these guys. You're just throwing hot rocks at us. Oh, did you run out of bullets? Ah, uh, sucks to suck. That's right. Your god got defeated by one woman. Skill issue, frogs. Eight frogs too? Yeah. They're weird, weird little creatures. I'm much more of a toad fan. Dodge my grenades. Good. Yeah, that's what you get. You know, I think they... Oh no, the dismemberment still works. Yeah, the... The, the humanoid aliens that were introduced in the last game actually had like a, like a strangely in-depth system of dismemberment. Where if you got rid of their legs, they would still crawl, or arms, they would still crawl around on the floor trying to attack you. And they'd only die if you did enough damage to their head and body. Like head and torso bit. It was really good for strategy because you could, you, you like had to actually think about where you were shooting them. Also, they had a weird thing where they would regenerating like a tiny limb would just sort of grow out and morph to full size and now they are very sort of like hunched over as if they're reverting back to primordial frog form and look this one's lost its legs my weapon isn't precise enough to not get its head to show you the rest of that I'm going to do the exterminating while I just go off and work on myself. And by that I mean get some armor pickups so I'm stronger for future missions. Oh, this one ant eluded me. There you are. Okay, you win this time. Psych, I got grenades. At last, peace and quiet. This city really is beautiful. Can you not say that every mission, please, guys? Shut up. Okay. 
Okay, new weapons. Bring them on, bring them on. Sparkline. Oh, a turbo core. That might be better. Probably not. Is it? Not yet. Once it's leveled up, I imagine so. Let's just check Sparkling. I think this might actually be a weapon I like. Oh, I've forgotten a lot. Don't need a shield because I move around too much and it's there stationary. Assist the extermination team. You need an easy job today, go help. No, I don't want an easy job. I want it to keep going, getting t more intense. <gasps> oh my god, have they finally done it? They finally made it so when you complete one difficulty, every lower difficulty is marked as complete too. The previous one, if you wanted to 100% the game, you had to complete each level on each difficulty for each character. So you effectively had to complete it up to, you effectively had to complete the entire game like 20 times to 100% it. Or only 10 or 5, depending on if you're, one of the, if you're in one of the older ones where it doesn't have all the classes yet. <laughs> oh, hold on. Can I slot myself on here? There you go. No. Come on, let me get myself lodged on here for a free ride. There we go. Now I can just chill. There we go. Okay, cam camera, please. I want to see myself just chilling. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to go to sleep. This is taking a while. Sleep on true. Oh, what? what is that? <laughs> is she kicking her? Is she just lying down and kicking her feet? So silly. Oh well, guess this is where I get off. Yep. Oh yeah, I've got to test out my new weapon. Okay, I think that's what I was expecting. Ayo? Yeah, okay, I like this weapon. I am going to kill myself with it if I get into a melee, so... And the rest of it? Come on, that was too easy game. I know they said this was an easy mission, but give me more. Give me a second wave. There we go.
But we've got to get back into flying backwards. Except when I run out, because the backwards dodge is... I don't know if it's actually faster, but it feels faster. Oh god, don't blow yourself up. I think I just cancelled my throw. There we go. Good, it's never just an easy mission. I should have learned that by now. Also, it was a bait and switch. Now, what are we really fighting here? Okay, damn, they're just throwing loads of them out of the ground at us. I love this. There's just just pure chaos. And I just get to fly above it all raining hellfire on them. Well, um, strange plasma orbs. And I yeet. Don't think that's reaching them properly at all. What accent was that? That sounded like the worst attempt at a British accent I've ever heard. A person saying they're emerging from underground. Come on guys, gather up so I can use my grenade efficiently. This is my British accent. I am unfortunately British, so that's how I naturally speak. Yeah. 
typical. I don't know what that is. That doesn't exist. I mean, the one non-British people do is a very vague thing these days. Because, like... It's be the the British accent people do most of the time now has become like British, yeah, that British, which is like I don't even know what area that that's the accent of because that's definitely close to how some people speak, but like the old stereotypical British accent was never a thing that really existed. I might kill you guys. Oh, I can. I don't like this guy. Wait, you can't die. No, they can't die completely. Actually, that's probably better. They are helping a little bit. Who is that on the comms? There's clearly no one here. Oh, those aren't alien eggs, those are sandbags. Stop! Stop! Ooh, oh, in the sky, is that going to be hornets? Or is it just going to be ants on a bit? It is hornets! Oh wow, these are usually a late game enemy. Buzz buzz, mother fuzzers. Then now this is gonna be incredibly annoying because you gotta fly up there to reach them. And I don't have the charge to just chill up in the air. Can I do this? Hang on, wouldn't this be a lot easier because it goes further? Yeah, that makes sense. I've been stupid. And last one. Will they throw another wave at us after this? Probably not. That's how it usually works with introducing new enemies. Actually, no, I can't say shit. They don't have a formula for these levels. Yep, that sounds like more. Nope, use the right button, Gwen. Oh, it is the end. Brilliant. 
Let me get that, let me get that, let me get that. Got it. Okay, anything new or just... Just upgrades, brilliant. Live cleaner. If he's not really much of a really thing they can live in our town. Don't send them sky high. By gun gun wagons, that's what you're calling the mech trucks. Actually, that's a fair name, I couldn't come up with anything better. Mech trucks was pretty shit too. Looks like we're hunting the skies today, team. The monsters have no right to live here, let alone step foot into our home. Our home. Oh, my God. I have to recognize this map. This is actually just a ruined version of one of the maps from the last game. Incredible. Flyers, that's what you're calling them? Oh, okay, nest down. I wonder if they're going to throw a Queen Hornet at us this early. And they already did the Queen Ant, so I wouldn't be surprised. Go straight in for the nest. Let's make this easier. That didn't reach it. Oh shit, that's many nests. And one down. I'll let the others do clean up, and I will just get straight. Oh my god, that is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nests. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, Chad, this is getting serious. Again. down six to go did I think there was seven okay there's the next one
and they'll deal with the last boss tonic things. I mean, I see no reason why you wouldn't eat a monster there. They look pretty nutritious. They're giant animals. Animals that we know are safe for human consumption if prepared properly. Come on, game dialogue. Do better. Last one, I think. Oh no, last two. Yeah, I'd have to, I, I mean, I have partaken in the eating of insects before, so. In a world with giant insects being this prominent, I would not see there being any problem with it. Especially one where the insects started appearing in 2022, which is well after research proving that they're safe. I wonder if the pandemic canonically happened in the EDF version 3 timeline. I mean, the games were made. The game was made way before that happened, so I don't know what the hell. Just a truck. Okay, game. You do you. Game really just said, what if we put a gun on a pickup truck? Ooh. Was that it? No. Actually, I feel like the reason I'm feeling like these levels are boring and short is because I just have the lowest levels of weapons and the enemies. They have, like, they have to be easy for the early levels and like tame, so they're not throwing many much enemy variety at us. But I mean, I'm still enjoying myself. Nothing in here yet. Okay. Find monsters. Showing something to the west. Oh, some red. Okay, red monsters. Those are the stronger version of the frogs. Use their fangs to hunt prey. Don't. Get... Okay, I don't know what that's talking about. The frogs did not have fangs in the last game. Is this just going to be a completely new enemy that they're throwing in before the? Anti time skip and like reverse time the, the time travel. We're heading out to exterminate monsters. Also, sorry, I am eating because I haven't had much food today and I've been traveling. Oh, of course, the bloody red ants. That makes far more sense. <laughs> this is the same crater terrain from EDF 4. 
just slapped into the middle of a city map from five. But I hate that I know the game this game series well enough to tell that instantly. But I mean I guess I did play the crater level in EDF four way too much. You know, that that is the one that me and my stepdad used to use for farming weapons. Back when we played the game a lot. Now the dialogue's trying to tutorialize me on the fact that these ones scoop you up, and then you can still shoot while they're shaking you around. But like. You can figure that stuff out for yourself. Also, I've played, I've played the red ant level five times before. Wait, hang on. They've finally broken the pattern. Um, sorry. In every previous EDF game, that they introduce you to the red ants on a beach level. It's always a beach level. But the beach, they come out of the water. Then another wave comes from over on the left. Then another wave comes from over on the right. It's always a similar looking beach, and this is the first time they've not introduced them that way. I mean, I guess it wouldn't really make sense, given how story continu how the continuity of this one is going on from the last game. Oh, don't throw a grenade at yourself. But that's interesting that they broke, like, one the the series' most iconic level. Or they like, I mean, they might still do the red ant beach level at some point but I, I like it being our first introduction to them when they crawl out of the sea Hello, last enemy surviving. Bam! Bam! Oh, what's that? There's a third wave. Okay, just got an Xbox achievement in. Because that's that caught me. I was like, why, why is there an Xbox achievement in? I'm not playing this through Xbox, I'm playing it through Steam. Uh, no, someone's using my Xbox account to play uh, Far Cry New Dawn right now. Because, of course, why wouldn't they be? Uh, but Dad, he actually engaging with the mechanics for once. <laughs> oh shit, no more grenades.
Hmm. You know what would be one of my fun, terrible stream ideas? You know how once I tried to play all five of these games at the same well, all five of the ones that had already come out before last week at the same time? What if, instead of playing them all at the same time, I did a stream where I just played all of the games back to back, all the way through? That would be a terrible stream idea that would actually be beatable. Oh, hold on, don't do that, they'll bite you. No, we didn't won. There's there's so many ads here. What do you mean we won? God. Make, start making sense, NPC, please. Oh god, don't blow yourself up. Stop doing that. There's just so much noise going on all the time. Excuse me, can you not? Wait, can I throw a grenade? I can! Oh my god, why are they let- No. No, it doesn't actually work. Okay, just shoot. Ah, yeah. get dodged. Mm -hmm. D D yeah. No, they're not gonna they're not gonna echo the chant. Come on guys, you're supposed to be cool. Do the thing where you all chant at the same time. Guys, sorry the NPCs are being so boring today, cat. They're usually cool and based. I swear. You wouldn't have gold either? Oh my god. Is there any gold in Skyrim? No, there must be. I'm being hyperbolic. Maybe there isn't. Ooh. Maybe there's no more gold. Oh, I'm using the wrong weapon. Aha, lightning shotgun. Pretty much what this is. God, someone was trauma dumping over there. Bring. Diff oh, God's sake, not a diffuser. Boring weapon. And so you're going to have to go all the way to Whiterun to get your gold then? Oh my god, we've been going an hour and a half already. Wow, time just flies with this game. <laughs> That's why I say these games, they're arcade shooters, because you just kind of do similar-ish levels over and over again. Your progress doesn't exactly carry forwards in the way you normally expect to in a game. They're just sort of like intangible progress that you get from collectibles. Oh, 
I don't know. It, it kind of feels arcadey in a way. Ooh, ooh, firing. A lot of frogs. Never mind, that's just four of them. Totally is arcadey, but you can't quite put it into words. You can't imagine playing this exactly as it is in an arcade, but it's got that feel. Which was annoying when I was trying to describe the vibes that I was going for with making a game like this for coursework. Hello, I'm here. Get shooted. You know, frogs, your alien overlords aren't here anymore. You could work with us if you wanted. We could use your help rebuilding the planet, and we could both live on it. Come on, come on, frogs. I know you want to. You want peace, don't you? What is happening at any point here? I can barely tell. God, I am taking too much damage. Yoink, yoink, grenades. Ah. Oh my god, they are destroying me. i got to find some health. Health spotted. Uh, over here. No, that's an armor. Never mind. I think the other one was health. Green dot. Green dot. Green dot. Oh my god. It's the, it's, it's the Halo. What's the, what's the Halo? Chat, does anyone know Halo lore? It, it's, it's John Halo. Up in the sky. Yeah, guys, don't come back now. We need to have lunch. No, no. It's them. They're back. Another war's gonna happen. I've had enough of this. Enough. You know a little about it. Damn, okay. I'm going to just assume that that thing, the, the big halo thing in Halo was called the halo, because that's what I'm calling it. So is there an enemy over here? Can I... Finish this level, please. I want to get to the law. Law is happening. Shush. That is interesting. That is not a ship they had in the last game. Hang on. No, that's more frogs. Okay. Yeah, probably. Ooh. Come on, detailed collision? No. Okay, fine. Go.
Oh shit, that... Okay, a full charge of the lightning bow isn't even strong enough to kill one of these. Was that an intentional dodge there? It's so hard to tell. Stop running away. I know you don't have your good weapon arm, but... Oh. Did they have gold in Whiterun? Okay, two headshots is good enough. Is that a sword? That looks like he has a sword. What the hell? I'm telling they've got aliens with giant swords now. Oh no, that is just how their weapon handles look, I think. Yeah, it is. Oh, I got excited for a second. It gets better. Did they have two gold bars? Three? You can't punch gold ingots? Oh. So you got gold ore and smelted it? There's no... If not, you're going to have to go mining. Okay, hold on. Uh, new enemy time. I don't even know what these are. I've never seen that design before. Hey, hey. Hey, what are you doing? You shooting my friends? Stop. Oh, on a second ship? Or are they just talking about these? Unless those are the mirror drones from the second game. No, that is definitely something completely different. A spell that turns iron to gold. Oh yeah, yeah. Transmutation exists in Skyrim. What the? Oh, it's a giant portal. Hold on, no more Skyrim time. There's law happening. Is that an intergalactic portal? Interdimensional? Intertemporal? Um. Hold on, is that part of the skybox or can I actually reach it? Uh, no, it's definitely still there, guys. There's a tome nip. Ooh. So why do you need a gold thing up? Oh, 
Wait, why is the sky gone pink? Oh my god, guys, it's a girl. Haha. <laughs> a joke about over the top gender reveals. Is that still relevant? Dragoon Lance. To create an arcane enchanter. Ah, cool. <laughs> yeah, you've got pink sky. Oh my god, and the background's changed. You notice it's happening now. The next day. Time to crack down on some evaders. Same enemies as always, no sweat. Sure. Mm. Except for those uh, drone things that I've never seen before. Sure, usual opponents. I like they made that underground bunker not so uncomfortably large this time. Well, that's new. Dead space moment, perhaps. I call this enemy. Um, holy shit! That that that's not what I was expecting. Oh, hold on, I gotta. The hell is this? This is not like the aesthetic of the last game at all. Oh hey, <laughs> is this a different alien invasion? Okay, these guys are kind of goofy. Ah, I like him. Oh, they've already given them a name. Okay, I guess these are androids. Still goofy. I love them. They're my little guys. Look at these guys. Look at this. What's he doing? What's he doing? He's wobbling along. Excuse me. Did you just stand on me. My guys, my little goobers, look at them. Oh, they're adorable. I, I feel bad killing these ones. They are wiggle wobbly. Oh, okay, that was intense. But oh my god, I love them. <laughs> Guys, don't kill this one. Don't kill this one. Just let me appreciate it. He's so cute. He's so silly. Oh, 
Oh, they shoot their arms off. And they're like claws. Do those claws actually grab you? Hold on, I want to... Can you grab me? You missed. Come on. Come on, bro. Did it just speak? It spoke. But Oh, you don't actually grab me. Chat, isn't he cute? Look at him. I love him. God, and those rope physics? Why are your heads so big? I should kill you just in case there's more level. Yep, there is, okay. No. Humanity has truly lost. But let them remember that the EDF fought until the very end. Please go back. We've lost. Don't be so defeatist. I'll show you how to flip a good fight. Be realistic here. Well, I wanted to flip. So is this a completely different alien invasion or not? I can't tell because these look like nothing from the previous game. Well, they have that like balloon shaped alien head, but that's about it. Yeah, those guys just can't accept that I'm better than them at this. They're like, oh, but we lost. Why should we keep fighting? Like, my brother in Christ, I literally killed God in just my underwear because that is how ridiculously underclothed the female characters were in the previous game. survivorship bias? I mean, they th no, they think they've lost. They want to just give up and hide. Well, actually, no. I'm kind of confused about their ideology. They want... They don't think it's worth fighting for anything more than just this wreck of a city. They think they lost the war, but they haven't... I'm confused. These guys... Remember the clothing? But no, I'm saying... If I could kill God wearing nothing, I can kill a few goofy little androids wearing a full suit of military fatigues. <laughs> also, I've just got what you mean. Yeah, I, was, I only had the necessary parts armoured before. No, I only had the parts where I got where people I, you know I, I understand survivorship bias but I'm explaining it badly oh I'm making a joke about it poorly You guys got this? I think I think they've got this one. Oh, it's just you. Just one guy left? Come on, Commander, you can do this. I thought the the Rangers. That's what the just the guys with guns are called. 
But they have regular guns for the most part, like assault rifles and shotguns and an occasional RPG. And I just have like laser weapons, and the wing divers get like, laser weapons and shit. And like plasma grenades. Shoot! Ooh, headshot. Grenade. Now. It's going around, the life out of us. That's exactly what it's doing. That's the point of fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. Don't die. Don't die here. That would be embarrassing. Dying very much. Grenades. Grenade. Now I would say I need a grenade with a bigger blast radius, but also I do keep blowing myself up as is, so and it's just annoying sometimes when you throw it and the enemies are just too far away or just too far apart for it to actually hit them. Heal? Heal for me? Okay, and everyone's dead. Great. But it's okay, they will be back in the next mission. <laughs> I got this by myself. Oh god. Not with these terrible camera angles. I am a strong, independent, earth-saving woman. Hang on. Are they proper dead? Nah, they're just chilling. Come on, guys, don't make me fight for you. And it's not murder if I'm... just... if I'm saving the planet from alien invaders. That's how it works, right? It's like... A I, I don't understand the military, but I think they get a pass to kill people, right? The military can just kill whoever they want, can't they? That's how it works. Okay, now that mission was the sort of intensity I was expecting and looking forward to. Now I hope it's staying at that level. And I hope we can finally figure out what the hell these new androids are. A pulsar spear, never heard of that. I'll give it a read up. Violent then? Yes, very violent. Everything is about violent. Oh, 
Oh, they don't let you take two of the same weapon now. That sucks. Right, Chav, what was the new weapon we got called? That's the pulse aspect. Okay, that's where it is. Okay, at least we can find a particle beam. That sounds interesting. Maybe I've taken this. Okay, fine. Guess we're just gonna kill the new guys. But the real thing is, what are those um, bacteria shaped things up there? Oh, yeah, I can ping for my guys to attack or go to a specific place. They wibble wobble and they explode. Oh shit, that's how it works. Okay, that's different to what I was expecting. I also forgot that I'd switched away from the grenade. So, blah blah. Okay, so it just makes a laser from right where I am forwards for five seconds. So if I do this okay yeah I think I prefer grenades Those things, they are just spitting out some sort of smoke. But it's fascinating how little we get, like how spread out our information about what's going on is given. It would be only like once every five missions that they actually acknowledge what the fuck's happening in terms of story. And you know, I kind of respect the games to that. So what the f I do not recognise this structure. Just a monolith, which I did not mean to jump off of. Oh, can you guys not get me up here? Oh god, you can, okay. Where the hell are they climbing? That's a spider? Yeah, maybe we are. We need a story when you have cool guns. Fair, but also I do love... I mean, they usually ramp up the stories and like in the last 10 missions or so. They're just like, yeah, we're going to pile it all on. Because in the last game, it was literally within the last five missions that they revealed the existence of the alien god. And yeah, this is this this might just be the spire.
But like the stories in these are so goofy, that's why I love when they do a story level. Like that one with the big halo ring that just appeared in the sky just now, like two levels ago. That's great, then they just go back to completely ignoring the consequences of the previous missions. I guess that's part of why it feels so arcadey. I didn't even... That's the first time I've actually heard that we have... Is that the, is that the fires in our... wingsuit? A jet plasma flight suit thing making fire noises? I heard something. I can't tell anything in this game. The fire's in our hearts, indeed. Always got to keep the fire in your heart to keep fighting. No game, that's not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to chill on this thing for a second without jumping off it. Oh, are they? I mean, they have funny neck bits. Okay, no time for standing around. Well, how are they going to get me in here? Are they smart enough for this? Yes, it seems so. Okay, okay, yep, yeah, this is a terrible idea. Also, they have blood. Gotta get out of there for a second, that was too much. Okay, that pack hasn't noticed us yet. We should be good to clear these ones out first. Could we have a more enthusiastic yes? This one? Nope, that's just static. Um, that was a nervous laughter. Proper laughing? Hello, game. Who did these voices? There we go.
Whoa, they do sick flips. They also make cool purple explosions when they die, so I like them dying as well. Hang on, chat. Could someone Google what metal makes purple fire? One of them must make purple. I don't remember which it is, if any. Hang on, my pulsar spear hurts me. Why? Why would they do it like that? I mean, I guess, you know, your weapons usually hurt yourself in these games. It's annoying. Talking about metals in the transition group? I'm talking about the ones that, where you can, like, no, a lot of metal do it, like, um, hold on. Any metal that you can put into a fire and it makes it glow a different colour. But no, not the alkali metals. Which metal makes purple fire? I'm googling it myself, chat, sorry. Could be cesium? Yeah, cesium, apparently. Oh god. Yeah. Or calcium under a blue flame? Interesting. Jesus Christ, what the fuck's happening on my Twitter? Eight notifications? Oh, oh, that's... That's three different uh, art bots. Incredible. Yeah, this is why I don't keep... This is why I don't use the internet during stream. Because I get distracted by shit like this. But... Mission success, yippee, well done. My mission is still ongoing. Because saving the world takes more than five minutes, unless you're a speedrunner. Do you want to get blown out? Of course you do. Spell acquired, nice. Now nothing, now no one can stop you from crashing the economy. Because the Skyrim devs clearly thought about the world building when making gold the currency and making a spell that lets you transform iron into gold.
Is that more of them over there on the right? Well, on my on my right now, but I'm turning around a lot, so saying directions are kind of meaningless. And they have removed the north marker for this one, so I don't know. I can't give compass directions to where the enemies are. Is that more of them that just appeared? But I'm getting very low health. No way am I dying here. And I could probably just back off a bit and find some health, but also, this is probably the end of the level. I'm pretty sure the game descript the title call said 90% of human that's are gone. No, we don't need more pain. Thunder crossbow, oh hell yeah. I think I like that weapon. So, immediately get rid of this for a grenade. Yeah, that's the one I recognize. There we go, okay. Ooh. Now, how many more missions before I conk out? Oh my god, it's been past two hours now. I'm surprised how small scale it's been keeping, but it's doing well at keeping to its small scale geographically. The last game had already taken us to London at this point. God, is it just more, just more androids? Oh, a new one! Hello, are you goofy too? Come on, be silly goofy. Oh, I just blew myself up. Great start. No, you're just shooting me. That's boring. So you go level lower reminds you of Tomb Raider. You know how Tomb Raider works? Oh, I haven't played the original Tomb Raider in ages. What's I need to pull my phone real quick? So. Mm -hmm. I'm
No, it's like nine. There's been more than nine? Actually, no, that sounds about right. Yeah, I played the original couple on PS1 and the latest, I think, trilogy. Like, Rise of the Tomb Raider ones. Whoa, that was a big explosion. You know, that's how you know these guys are strong. Also, the fact that they do damage a lot of damage, that, that also is a sign of them being strong. Bam! Grenade, straight to your face. No mind, I missed. Big underworld. Oh. The night entry. Actually, yeah, that does sound about right. I might be stuck. Chat. Chat, help. Oh god, chat, I'm gonna have to... Oh, that... Okay, that bit's easier. Oh no, chat, I'm stuck again. Like, I got out. No, we cannot just kill ourselves. We're the only person, we're the only soldier here who actually gives a shit about saving the world properly. These guys are just doomers, they just want to fight simply because it's the only thing left that gives them purpose in life. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm not ready for this yet. Guys, I need backup. I need backup. I am I am not ready. Okay. Taking cover. Get the one shooting me. Attack, attack. That one. That is so many shots to kill. That is a difficulty spike. Indeed. Why can't you be silly goofy like the little guys? Oh god, that's death. That is death to myself. Oh, oh my god, the portal's back. And there's just some of the ships from the last game going up into it. So are these aliens invaded? I mean, related or not? Chat, any any personal bets? Do you think that the androids are related to the aliens and monsters? I should be getting on with killing things instead of admiring the view. They're definitely going into the portal and not coming out of it, right? Like cousins? Okay. I didn't mean like biologically, I meant like are they the same invasion or like a different invasion? But I guess them being cousins makes sense in a sort of non linear, non subjective viewpoint. A sort of wibbly wobbly, spacey wacy way. Oh god, I rushed in again. I am gonna die. The invasions are cousins. Ah, makes sense. Stop. 
in the distance. <laughs> I don't even know that again, so I can't make a joke about the reference. Six thousand gold, good lord. Really, I just threw it between his legs. That is not cool. Are his lasers be warmed up? Stop! Stop! I'm the one who does the shooting, you're the one who does the dying. Okay? Charge. Now, are these guys going to catch up or what? Oh, they're waiting for me to tell them what to do. Aww. Come on, guys, you can figure this out. Good boys they are, yes they are. Okay, shooting them does way more than exploding them, apparently. Unless... Okay, doesn't help if I miss. Okay, no, the grenades do a pretty consistently flat 70. Maybe we can do much more with our shotgun spark vine thing. Okay, no, 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 This is not where I die. This is not where I die. Chat, is this where I die? No, it's not. I'll let the boys handle this one. It's like I'm prepared to fight again. Because this one's about to die. <laughs> Oh, it's just what needed. Yum yum. I'll never die apart from that one time I blew myself up. And inevitably again once the levels get harder. Listen, once they put more than five of this enemy at once, I'm gonna be fucked.
Oh, he's actually dead. You good? Okay, he was just in the, this guy was just in the floor. Please be the last one. Ooh, the physics on these are not very good. Which device? My gun? No, I like it. Oh my god, every... All of your teammates go to sleep with you to hurt. That's stupid. Nothing new. The big day. What does five crosses mean? Did this ring shaped ship just plan to sit in the air doing nothing, completely defenseless? I must think they've already won. Guaranteed on the verge of destruction. They're sitting back now, thinking we don't have the strength left for a counterattack. That's going to be their fatal mistake. Time to bloody their nose, get close to the ring shaped space car, and take it down. Okay, I know I'm usually the one who's all for us going on the offensive, but we are not ready to do that yet. Don't forget to bring long range weapons, you'll need them. Bah, I can fly. What does the five crosses mean on the mission titles? Because not all of the story missions have that. So it can't be story missions, is it? Just... Hmm. Shit, my mom's been texting. Hold on a sec. Shush. 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 Today's the day. No, follow me. I'm the main character. Oh, that's another new thing. Those five five prong ones. Interesting. Looks like it's going down here. Come on, guys, have optimism. The game won't let us lose. Okay, good. Oh! Oh, is that the thing we're going for? Wait, no, that's a collapsed building. Yeah, give me a second to get over there, guys. Stop. Stop complaining. Machine men? 10% done with wood chopping? Ooh. Mayhaps there'll be time to get it done before the end of stream. Really a universal collapse. Yes, it does look like it. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. Machine men means androids. And now the whole force knows I'm here. Shit. Okay, well, time to find out what this is all about. This is going to be hellish. Okay, don't alert the androids. Okay, these ones are easy to kill. 900 wood. Oh, that's a lot of wood. <laughs> oh, you guys are goofy. 
again. We've got goofy enemies again, chat. Let's go. Okay, we might be able to manage this. We can very much do aggro management, so we should be fine. Orb, 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 our oh, orb's gone. Why, why invisible walls for parts of this? Come on game, don't do me like that. Did it? Beep beep? Beep beep? Beep beep? Oh god, okay. Okay, big androids. Gotta be careful. I'm sorry, I'm doing a terrible job of being a streamer, aren't I? I'm just enjoying my silly little game at this point. But, you know, I wanted to share this with you so I could yap about this game series more. Because this is the game I want to play right now, so by God, if I'm not utilising that to make content of some sort, even if I'm not speaking, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm trying to say something. I'm being a bad streamer, I'm sorry. I'm fine. Yeah, I just feel bad when I go silent for several minutes at a time. So I'm like, I should be doing something more than just playing a game as if I'm not live. Ooh, ooh. Look at that. Oh.
a great conversation starter. Try me. I guarantee you, I, I actually, I don't know what I'm, I'm going to go there. You need my opinions. Oh, I love giving opinions on things that I am not informed on. Uh, Panini presses? I do indeed know nothing about those. I say buy the... I don't know, actually what... Oh, yeah, I don't know shit about Panini presses. If you're looking to buy one, buy the most expensive one you can justify spending its price on because you don't want cheap things that make heat oh yeah no I understand the concept I just don't know oh you mean like my opinion on them as a thing yeah I think they're cool um, I, d I don't use one but I, I I think any way of making any machine that makes food in a cool, different way is cool and based. Oh shit, shit, I looked away. Okay, I now hate Panini Presses because they just got me killed. that we have to end the stream forever no more no more stream because i died that's how it works i'm dead no more stream however i do thank you all very much for being here thank you for letting me do my silly little thing And I will see you all tomorrow for more of this. So in the meantime, please do all the social media things. Do the following and the subscribing. And uh, check out the YouTube where I'm going to be editing videos for again. And uh, the, the Discord server. And uh, other ping. Do all the social media things. And of course... Go and send some love over to whoever I end up raiding. Are any of my friends live? Or at least someone who, a friend who I'd be okay explaining what the fuck this game is to. Oh. <laughs> Um. Oh, Elder's Life, okay. Please don't turn the sound on Twitch, don't automatically do that. Okay, good, well done. Yes, of course I did. Okay, well, chat, go send some love over onto my friend the Elder Irish, as always, in raids um you know do the do the whole thing and i will see you tomorrow then i might not see you again for a while because um i don't have a door on my bedroom at home and i'm moving back home tomorrow well on wednesday so that's kind of sad so no streams for a little bit but hopefully it won't be too long anyway i'm gonna be raiding see you all bye Mwah. well i like the game's music i just noticed that Did I stop the stream? No, I didn't. Okay, hold on, give me a second. Oh, the hell, where's the red button? There. Shut up.